We'll begin tonight with the latest on the COVID-19 situation in Thailand and the COVID-19 daily infection record has been broken for three days straight with 21,379 new cases recorded today as well as 191 deaths. The number of people with the disease dropped slightly today to 212,000 people from yesterday's high of 213 as more people have been recovering from the disease. 22,000 people were sent home in the past 24 hours. The number of people being hospitalized is on the rise in line with the continued surge in new COVID-19 cases. Those being treated in hospitals first passed the 200,000 level last Saturday. Among all the current cases, 400 4,999 are severe cases and 1,038 cases are on ventilators. Most new cases are being acquired through local transmission, with only 484 in prisons and 10 among overseas arrivals. The total cases since April are 685,821, while 5,760 deaths have been recorded in the latest wave. Bangkok remains the province with the most new infections and deaths, with 4,700 cases and 100 deaths recorded today. Other provinces in the top 10 list with most infections are Samut Sakon, Samut Prakan, Chonburi, Nonthaburi, Patum Thani, Cha Cheng Sao, Nakhon Patum, Saraburi, as well as Ubon Rachanthani. And if we look at the global rankings, Thailand currently ranks 39th country in the world for most accumulated infections. The ranking moved up from 40th and 41st in the past few days. At the same time, 19.6 million doses of vaccines have been administered to date with only 4.2 million people or only about 6.1% of the entire population have received two doses of vaccines. While another 175,000 people have received their third booster shot to date. And we also have some interesting information to share with you here. According to Nikkei Asia, they revealed the COVID-19 recovery index. And unfortunately, Thailand is actually the worst with only 22 points. Vietnam also has 22 points as well. And the country that is at the top right now is China.